So what is laminar flow and why is it so cool? Well, one thing that's so unique about laminar flow is it has some unique properties because you have all the particles of a fluid moving in one direction. I got the inspiration for my video today from watching Devin on Smarter Every Day, and I also got some inspiration from the King of Randoms channel where we built a nozzle from my physics class that illustrated some of the properties of this laminar flow. So as you can see, basically you can create laminar flow even from a common household uh, spigot like you're seeing here. And basically what happens is you have to adjust the velocity of the water or the, the speed at which the water is moving in order to get it so it's not turbulent. And that is what basically disturbs the water, is turbulence in the water. When you think about water that's traveling through a tube, the water that is in the middle of the tube is not touching the sides. And therefore, as it's moving, the water or the fluid that is against the sides actually moves a little bit slower and it creates turbulence. So when you see water flowing out of like a garden hose, for example, you'll see that it's not very clear. You'll see that there are ripples and so on that are moving through the water. And when you get something that's moving in, in all the same direction, you'll see that it is clear, almost like glass. And it looks almost like there's a glass tube coming out of the end of the nozzle. And that's because you get all the water molecules moving in a similar direction. You have them moving at a similar speed and you try to reduce any type of friction that they might be getting from the sides of the container. So you can see here with a regular water spigot, if you turn on the water too fast, it's going to create turbulence and you can't see clearly through the water stream. If you turn the water back just slowly, you'll see that the stream becomes clear. And when you put the nail in the stream of the water, you'll see that it changes and you can see this very clear little dome of water that comes around the head of the nail. And if you speed up the water, you'll see that it makes a larger dome, but you also see that it creates turbulence. And so you can't see very clearly through that dome of glass. So in my physics class, we were talking about laminar flow. And so I decided that I was going to make the nozzle that was demonstrated on the King of Random. And if you want to see a build process of how they did that, I'll leave some links down in the comments below. You can go over and check out their channel. I'll just give you a brief demonstration of my students as we were building this. So basically what happens when the water enters this nozzle that we're creating, you want to slow the water down so that it's all moving at the same speed. So you use some green kitchen sponges. After that, you're going to place some screen netting in place. And again, that just helps to keep things in place and keep things from moving around. The next thing you place inside the nozzle is a whole bunch of coffee stirrers. And basically what this does is after the water has slowed down, it gets all that water moving in one direction. After the end of the coffee stirrers, you're going to want to put an additional screen so that again, it just continues keeping the water moving in that same direction. You want to place another inch or so from there and towards the about halfway through to the end of the nozzle, you want to place another screen. Now the end of the nozzle is very important. So what you're going to do for the nozzle is you're going to take a piece of aluminum can and you're going to try to get as clean of a cut in a circular shape on the end of that aluminum as you possibly can. You're then going to progressively sand that with finer and finer sandpaper until you get all the way down to using uh, some, some uh, steel wool, some double or single lot steel wool. And what that is going to do is just give it a really nice smooth polish. You want to make sure that there are no edges or burrs around that nozzle and that's going to give you a nice clean stream without creating turbulence as it's exiting out through that nozzle. <laughs> As I demonstrate here, I actually take my S10 Plus, which is uh, water resistant and actually taking it and putting it inside of the dome of water. So I flip the camera around so you're actually looking at me through the dome of water. And then as I slowly move the camera away, you'll see that the stream of water comes over the lens and now you're seeing me without looking through the dome of water. 
So one of the things that's really cool with laminar flow is you can create some really neat effects. So once I got the water velocity moving fast enough, my water pressure at home was a bit better than what I was using here in my classroom. And I was able to get a golf ball to balance and spin right at the top of this laminar flow. So you have to get the, the speed of the water going just right. You also have to get the angle just right. And so you can see here, it will just sit there and spin at the top of that stream of water. And uh, it's really cool. So there's lots of other things that go into this concept of laminar flow and Devin on Smarter Every Day is really excited and really into this concept. So if you go over there, you can see some of the other things that he has done and some of the, sh some of the different places where he has seen laminar flow illustrated in various places around that he's been. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, check out those comments down in the description if you wanna see any of those other videos. Hopefully you subscribe to my channel if you like this and any other videos along this line. And we hope to see you again on the next one.